Welcome to part one of three tutorials on authoring discs with Cyberlink PowerProducer 5. Creating a photo slideshow disc. In Cyberlink PowerProducer 5, you can create VCD, DVD, Blu-ray and AVCHD discs in a variety of video recording formats and with the aspect ratio that fits both your content and playback environment. In this tutorial, we will create a standard DVD with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. The Select Media window makes it easy to select and customize your disc. When in the Content window, begin importing the photos you want on your slideshow disc. You can import up to 1,024 photos into a single slideshow. Once photos are imported into the program, a new slideshow album is created. Each album you create will become a video title or scene on the created disc. In your photo slideshow album, you can easily reorder the photos in the album of your liking. To set a photo in the slideshow as the title or album thumbnail, just select the Set as Thumbnail Title button. You can also set a name for your album, which is displayed on your menu Scenes page. Add background music to your slideshow. You can add multiple tracks and, if required, easily trim each music track. You can set the slideshow length by specifying the duration each slide or photo is displayed the duration of the entire slideshow, or by matching it to the duration of the background music. Slideshow effects are the transitions used between each slide, or are the effects that are applied to each photo, such as motion. There are many effects to choose from. Select the effect that satisfies your personal taste. If any of the photos in your slideshow require touching up, perform advanced editing using Photo Now. Cyberlink Power Producer lets you add up to 99 slideshows onto a single disc, so feel free to add all your favorite photos to your slideshow discs. Each slideshow you add becomes another album or scene on your disc. If you want to add additional photos to a slideshow you've created previously, you can do so in the Edit function. Make sure you select the correct slideshow album you want to add the photos to. And then import the additional photos as required. Once you are done creating your slideshow disc, save your disc project 
and then proceed to burn it to disk when ready. In the next tutorial, we will show you how to import and edit videos in Cyberlink PowerProducer.